what we do here is go back, 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 back. Hey guys, uh, Ed here, and I'm kind of late to the party with doing uh, New York Comic Con videos, I guess. It's been about a week-ish, uh, but I wanted to make one. I wanted to talk about a couple things uh, that are really important to me, not just the amazing entries this year, but a couple personal things. Um, as is a lot of you know, I go to Comic-Con, or I've been going to Comic-Con for the past couple years. And I'm sorry if I keep sniffling, I, I got <laughs> sick immediately after I got back. Um, but as you guys know, or may know, every year I go to Comic-Con, or the past three years I've gone to Comic-Con just for GBWC. Um, I go every Saturday, and I've competed every single year that I've gone, or entered something at least. I've only really competed the past two years, but I've been going for a couple years now. And... Every year, the entries get better and better, and I think it's really cool to see my friends, um, and not just my friends, but everyone else, uh, improving so much over the years, and this year uh, was definitely the best year by far. The entries were stellar. They were amazing. Um, everyone really put their foot down and brought the hammer down this year, and I am... The word, the word that I'm looking for, I believe, <clears throat> is proud, and I'm very proud to be in this community currently, because this year, uh, as Xavier was announcing the winners for <clears throat> GBWC, um, he said that they had trouble picking winners this year, and that uh, this was the best year since they started having um, GBWC at Comic-Con that we've had and he had all of us uh, have a round of applause and I think that is incredible I think that is something we should really be proud of as a community especially uh, the East Coast branch that entered at GBWC this year um, it was amazing to see that and I am honored and very happy that I actually managed to place best small scale uh, again I placed last year and that's such a huge deal for me because um, this this hobby is like everything to me. I, I made a video last year talking about it and um, how much it meant to me. And this year it meant even more because last year was my first year winning an award and that felt incredible, it felt amazing, but this year um, Henry was there in person, and if you guys don't know Henry, he's Vegeta 8259, um, and he came in person this year, and I finally got to meet him, and he won, he won an award, he won the Bandai Favorite Award, and I am so incredibly proud of him, um, and we got to stand on stage together, and it's really, really awesome feeling that the guy who taught me and handed down everything to me was, uh, standing on stage next to me, and... That's, this is definitely one of my most proudest moments as a Gundam builder, um, to stand next to him on a, a world stage, you know, and uh, hold our awards together and smile and just, you know, have, have a really good time. Um, really, really important to me, and really a, a real special moment that I'm very happy that the two of us got to share. Um, yeah, that was uh, an incredible experience. Uh, to have that happen, because Henry won best large scale last year at Comic Con, but he didn't go. I uh, represented him, but uh, it was very nice to have him standing up there in the flesh. <laughs> My girlfriend also entered uh, her first Gunpla this year, and she did a amazing job, much better than most uh, first Gunpla I've ever seen, uh, let alone um, just you know hers. She her first GBWC, uh, GBWC entry. Um, this was amazing. She did a Zagok E diorama um, with the like, snow on it with an ice base, and it turned out fantastic. Um, and my, uh, my piece was a, another diorama. If you guys haven't seen it, there will be a link down below where you can go uh, view the uh, gallery for it on my blog. Um, it was called A Bridge Too Far. It took me about a week to make. Um, I was interviewed by... Uh, 
bluefin for all of this so i'm sure by the time this video is up my interview will be somewhere with them but you can read about uh more of that there <clears throat> but it was a uh it was a very tasking challenge to finish that thing and um, i may do a separate video covering that because i just i don't want to ramble too much about here i wanted to just talk about gbwc for a minute but um it was incredible to uh meet so many people that follow my work um i was surprised actually at how many people came up to me and were like oh you're ed or you know oh man i follow your builds i love your builds and like I took pictures with some people and I, I signed a couple things and it, it was a lot of fun. It was really cool and humbling in a way because I'm not that big. I just, I build robots, you know. Um, but it's really cool to meet people that like your work. It's really uh, humbling and awesome. Uh, so yeah, um, I wanted to just say a big thank you to uh, Blue, Bluefin and Bandai and everyone else who has helped fund the GBWC and not a thank you, but to anybody and everyone who entered this year, I am extremely proud of you. You guys did an amazing job. GBWC has only gone up in quality over the years since I started building, uh, definitely. And it's, you know, it's it's challenging. It, get, it gets harder and harder to stay uh, in your slot every year as, uh, you know, best small scale, best large scale, whatever you do. Um, and with the former champion of America retiring, Kadesh, um, the uh, the slot is open, so I'm very excited to see what will happen next year with everybody entering and competing. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm just I'm so incredibly proud of not only everyone, just everyone like uh, Jeremy and my girlfriend also, especially I, you know, I was side by side with uh, her. And then Jeremy at the end when he was finishing his diorama, he did a uh, Blue Destiny scratch build out of a Master Grade gym uh, on a diorama that he did and it looked amazing. It was incredible and he's come so far and I'm just, I'm very proud. I'm very, very proud and honored to stand and be interactive with such amazing and talented uh, individuals that I am. Um, and they're incredible so links uh, will be below for all of their stuff i highly encourage you guys to go check out everything that they've done and uh, to check out their coverage and footage of the event uh, especially brit she did some amazing uh, coverage of everything on her blog and video that should be up at some point um but yes i know i've said it a million times but i am so incredibly proud of you guys like you really really did good this year and I cannot wait to see what you bring next year. So, again, thank you to uh, Bluefin and Bandai and everyone else. And um, I will see all of you in the next video. Bye.